Hello everyone, Zinian Zimmer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Houses. Time to instruct. That's what we missed, Lawrence. Oops. Oh well. That was. That was. I've really grown. Claude. I learned something. That was it. <laughs> Let's do it. That was. Whew. It was Marianne. Keep Lawrence, keep Raphael, keep Ignatz, Sapia, Marianne, Hilda, Leonie, etc. Okay, good training. Okay, hurry up. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. Can't argue. I'm feeling good about this. This will be useful. Seems my practice. And now we can go into fighting. Certifications. <sighs> Again, Lawrence? There. <laughs> I'm beginning to think you're just cursed. Battle. Dealing with deserves first. Thank you. <sighs> I am grateful. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is there any guys behind? No, there isn't. So I can just leave it to mainly. Guide me well. Allow it. 
My orders. Go back. Actually. Dismount. At the ready. And then just flee. Shall we? Shall we? Mostly focus on. What's my strategy? Let's make this quick. Steady now. Because we're here for some Leave levels. More than anything. Short axe. <gasps> you should have seen that coming. I'll do my best. There we go. That's another one. Defeat me, left. <laughs> you should have seen that coming. Physic. Well, oh, physic. We only just did the trick. And then go physic. Right, Mar Marianne wasn't. Low for it, yeah. yeah, either. Guide me well. 
Lament your weakness. Had I room to grow? Won't allow it. Lament your weakness. Leave it to me. I'll do my best. Alive. And turn. Guide me well. Destiny unfurls. Assist. Okay, who's next? I need to give Seraph weapons. Lament your weakness. Lament your weakness. Okay. Hmm. 
Pirates in the North. My thank you so much. <sighs> I am grateful. I have gratitude. This is a lot. Uh, put Seraph in front. Inventory. Items. Seraph. Lance. See trade that crest is equal this actually. Cause until you can get the spear us all can't exactly do much. Breaker, Lance Breaker, that's much better. Okay, so there's only guide me well one bow user, so I can take him out. Destiny unfurls. Uh, I'll do my best. Go back. Because we don't At the right. want them to try murder Steady us now. yet. Let's make this quick. Reprieve. What's my strategy? Heal. Push Move back. Attack. Apologies. Heal. Back. Lament your weakness. We're almost at furry for Sarah. Had I room to grow? Guide me well. Destiny unfurls. Hope. My orders? You know what? Ah! For Gerald. Trade secret. Back up. Lament your weakness. I won't allow it. Oh. 
make a difference. Slow and steady, eventually wins the battle. Did it? You defeat me, left. to be there. Shall we? Shall we? Leave it to me. Lament your weakness. That is all. There we go. Now had I now start just brutalizing. <laughs> A nobleman does his duty. Does he? Does he though? Ha! All is going to plan. There goes my left. I. Silver axe. Gambit, you know what? All the stops. Yeah. 
Thank you. Got yourself killed. I was hoping that Claude would level up. Oh well. Pirates of North. Complete. Instead of his MVP again, even though I'll be real, he probably shouldn't be. But I needed him to be level for a. And now we begin the beginning. The end. <laughs> ah, it shall be glorious. Glorious. Okay. One day behind. For it first. Everyone, listen up. I have a proposal. We are now building our forces in order to rise up against the Imperial Army. But it wouldn't be smart for us to fight under the banner of the Alliance. That would only incite the Lords who support the Empire. We've also combined forces with the Knights of Saros. Therefore, I suggest that we operate under a new symbol. That's why I've prepared this. You may recognize it as the Crest of Flames, which resides in Teach. The Phantom Crest that has reappeared after more than a thousand years. We're attempting our own miracle, so it seems like a suitable symbol for us. So. Until we welcome the dawn of a new age in Fodlin, let's fight to the very end as one under the symbol of the Crest of Flames. Impressive, Claude. Forget restoring the monastery. You've somehow roped everyone into fighting back against the Empire. If you recall, I never technically asked anyone to join us. If anything, we have Teach's achievements to thank. Now that you mention it, I guess I should express my gratitude. Hey, friend. So this is where you've been. Without you, the Knights never would have joined our cause. I can never pay you back for that. You're welcome. Just leave it to me, Teach. When this fight is over, I plan to see all of my dreams come to fruition. And yours as well. What are your dreams, Claude? Well, for example, to bust open Fodlin's throat. There's a massive fortress there which is responsible for protecting the eastern border of the Alliance. I like to think of it as a lid on a bottle. The people of Fodlin only know a small part of the world. Their prejudices are born because they don't know what lies beyond their borders. And the opposite is true too. Those outside of Fodlin don't know about this place. Ignorance breeds discrimination. Whether you look inside the bottle or outside of it, if you really look, all you'll find are people who you can get along with if you only try. That's why I want to bust open that lid, which is keeping us locked inside. Or destroy the bottle entirely. Are you going to tell our allies about this? I'll find the right time to bring it up. Even if I talked about it now, it doesn't seem realistic, does it? First, we need to defeat the Empire and restore peace to... Huh? Professor! Claude! We're under attack! I guess we'll have to cut our conversation short. What's going on, Leone? It's a small group, but some Imperial troops are headed this way. It looks like they were stationed nearby. I've got a hand it to Edelgard. Nothing gets past that woman. We should proceed cautiously. As long as we don't let our guard down, there's no way they can defeat us. This will be our first battle alongside the Knights of Saros. Let's kick off our new partnership with a magnificent victory. And... Yep. We don't get... Rest. We're fighting the Empire. Right way. But before that... Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. Okay. First, save. Because I want to try... Okay, everyone. Good. Good job, Lawrence. What? Was there any doubt? Yes. 71%. Good job, Raphael. Good job, Raphael. Yeah! I passed! And 
Serif still doesn't have... Oh. Curse you, Serif. Before that, we better resupply ourselves. We have Brave Swords, which we get one for Byleth. Claude. Oh. I might buy another Silver Bow. And the Brave Bow. For Lawrence. Oh, do I. He's gonna get doubled. So, yeah. I'll give him the Brave Lance. Raphael. You're a nuke. I don't think you need the Brave Axe, but Hilda might. You need to readjust your gears. Yeah, I don't think you need more. Lysipia doesn't need. Marianne doesn't need. Axes. You need the Brave Axe. I can get rid of the antitoxin as well. Leonie, maybe I can give you the Brave Bow because you're starting to get dulled. Oh, actually. Okay. I'll need to. Inventory. Let's first start with Sev. Horse Slayer, Kara Lance, Brave Lance. Get rid of the concoction. Ooh, there's still a Brave Bow, but I haven't given a bit of use to, so I can probably give that one to Ignat. Oh, but there's also the kill bow. I'll probably give that to Claude. Because I'll be real. We need as much power as we can get. I can give that axe to... He needs an A for it. But hey, we can start working on that. You don't have. Oh, you're. You need a. You need a concoction. Hilda, get rid of the antitoxin. To actually, take up a concoction. Uh, get rid of your silver axe for now. Take up a brave axe. Get rid of the bullion. anything else about you. Myself though, I need to pick up my brave sword. And probably switch in, switch away for a rapier. Okay. Mission? Lagging. Let's go. Though plans to resist the Empire are still being devised by the Alliance Army, the Imperial Army has already anticipated their next move. An Imperial vanguard just outside Garrick Mach, led by General Randolph, begins to advance with the aim of toppling the monastery once again. And here we go. Let's... Whew.
Let's launch. Okay. We're on this side. It's not bad of a setup. And then the rest are on the left. Uh, I want Marianne on this side. I want you more further forward. I want these guys. Yeah, that's better. Uh, there's some bow users, so we need to watch out for them. But let's go. Launch the battle. The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy. But we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. So, the enemy intends to use their overwhelming numbers to defeat us. Let's fight fire with... actual fire. Report. The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Mok. If they reach the interior, the enemy will take the monastery. Drive them back immediately. Which is what our goal is. So... Before we do anything, mark archers range. And with that, last move. Let's make this quick. Oh, we can hit this guy first. Not for that too. I've got no time for mercy. We've got a hand axe. My orders? How about a curtsy? Nice. I'll keep put. What's my strategy? Rapier. That's my strategy. Use a rapier. It won't be in vain. Okay. Steady. So. Ah, we can hit them. Shall we? Hit them immediately. Powerful blow. See if that will scare them. Frozen lance. An offensive sight. I thought you could best me. Back. At the ready. Kill the bow. My moment has arrived. <laughs> you got yourself killed. I'm... Okay. Leave it to me. Now, Raphael. Keep this area covered. You should have seen that coming. Guide me well. <laughs> yeah, I can't reach him yet. So I'll probably just brave lance this guy. Lament your weakness. Go back. Shall we? Take out you. Oh, fighting wears me out. Oh, should have just. Let me paint you a picture. Hit down. No mercy. I'm impressed. Onward.
punch through with four on. I must keep going. There we go. What? That strange battle flag is. But isn't our enemy the Church of Saros? They didn't have enough soldiers with just the church. So they upped their numbers by joining with those filthy rogues. It doesn't matter what flag they fly. They're nothing more than a mob. We'll destroy them all. A fitting outcome. Good. Allied soldiers are making preparations for the plan. Protect them. We can get in there. We're fine. We're not letting you by, though. Destiny unfurls. Preserve that payback for her and Flame. No chance. I wasn't about to let you go. A nobleman does his duty. Breaking the wall. We're not allowing them to murder us. And one. Pull back. Healing a little bit. It's fine. We just need to hold them off. Watch and learn. glance away. Oh, there's still one more archer, so we need to be careful. I didn't notice him. 
Oh, so he's moved. Okay. What's my strategy? Mount. There's no turning back now. My orders? Break shot. For Gerald. Let's make this quick. Actually, can I just warp you? Yes, I can. I'm gonna warp him over there. He should be fine. I will. Okay. I'll do my best. Assist. Guide me well. Steady now. No, you don't. Sure of Magic bow, not really useful. Pull back. Leave it to me. That's another one. Goddess ring. That's nice. Ooh, I might, I might give that to Raphael. Not yet, though. Shall we? Okay. Shall we? Yeah, no. I'll have to leave that to Claude. Sorry, but it's you or okay, me. Okay, good. You actually hit. At the ready. Onward. Ha! For the bow. Ha! No! Sorry, but I must. We're prepared for the fire attack. Now we just need to draw the enemy's attention. You can't defeat us with that many soldiers? The Imperial Army is doomed without a capable general. Quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me. Attack! Make sure they never speak again! Now! Fire attack! The damage is too great! We can't fight anymore! All units retreat! I'll take on our pursuers! Carry away the injured soldiers! If we let them escape, they'll come back to attack later. 
We have to take them out. We'll be able to. With this many soldiers? They're doomed. Such a perfect spot. Perfect spot, but I don't need to care. Just attack. Cut and Gale. This is for the best, right? I'll be better for big nuts. Lament your weakness. Forward. Sorry, it's got to be like this. Still alive. I won't. Move forward. So close. We're all desperate, aren't we? I can still fight. An offensive sight. A nobleman does his duty. Don't get used to this. Oh, good. Good health up. will be better. So it's here. Judgment is passed. Oh, you you're really angry. You're on fire. Uh Shall we? In a hurry to die, are you? Our quarrel wasn't perfect. Fun to watch. Yeah, I can reach him with any of my own. Enemy. Enemy. Any of the units. Still in it. No mercy.
Okay, so I'm gonna see. Okay, I might be able to not kill. For my house, for justice, I will not be defeated. <laughs> Hello again. Mother, please. I'm so. Uh. <laughs> the game. What is to take it? I'll use this power for the greater good. Protecting Garak Mark. Yeah. Really, the closest second would probably be Hilda. My but everyone did their, so did their job. Phew, nice work. We won without much incident, thanks to all of you. Now the enemy knows we're on the move. What do you plan to do? I intend to ask the Alliance Lords to share some troops with us to bolster our forces. I will speak plainly. No matter whom we beseech for reinforcements, our envoys will inevitably pass through Gloucester territory. My father is being cautious not to give the Empire a pretext to intervene. Therefore, he is unlikely to allow even envoys to pass through. Why not request reinforcements from the Kingdom? I guess I haven't told you yet, Teach. The Kingdom isn't in a position to be sending anyone reinforcements. After losing King Lambert during the tragedy of Dusker, a regent had been handling its politics. But then, there was a bloody coup. The regent and Prince Dimitri both. Apparently the whole family was killed. All bladed territory, including the Kingdom capital, is being ruled by those who are cooperating with the Empire. The Kingdom is no more. It's now called the Fargus Dukedom. The vast majority of the former Kingdom Lords bent a knee to the overwhelming power of the Empire and the Dukedom, and now fall under their jurisdiction. Some who formerly held power are continuing to resist, but it would be difficult for them to regain it. Oh hey, I can think of one person who we can ask for reinforcements. Someone whose territory is really close, and who's on good terms with Claude. Ah, the hero of Daphnil, I presume. I've seen her before, and she does seem to be reliable. You're talking about Judith, right? I bet she would lend us a hand. She seems strong. That's right, you've met her once before, Teach. She's a fearsome one-woman army. She did a lot for me, even before I was recognized as the heir to House Regan. I don't like the idea of owing her more than I already do, but given the current situation, sacrifices must be made. I'll reach out to her. As for the rest of you, prepare for our next battle. And for that... Oh. Hey, Atich. How are you feeling? Does anything feel... Um, strange at all? I feel a bit sluggish. Well, you were asleep for five whole years, after all. It'll probably take time to get you back to top form. Though, I'm relieved to see you haven't lost a step as far as combat goes. Your command bringing my schemes to life. That's just how we fight best. Any word from Judith? Not yet, but there's no need to worry. That woman adores me. Once we've bolstered our forces, it'll finally be time to start taking decisive action. But I wonder, do you really think Rhea is still alive? She's... alive. I think so, too. It's hard to imagine the death of someone as important as her staying a secret. I wonder where she is, and what she's doing. Do you hope she's alive? All I know is that I still have a lot of questions I need to ask her. About the true history of Creststones and Hero's Relics, and the truth behind the legend of Seros and Nemesis. She has secrets. Too many of them for my comfort. 
considering the state of the world, it's suspicious. You must be curious about what was done to you and what her plans were for you, right? And you never did learn about your mother, did you? None of our doubts will ever be cleared unless we hear these answers from Rhea herself. In that sense, I absolutely hope Rhea is still alive. But as far as Fodlan goes, I do wonder what a world without Rhea would look like. A world without Rhea? The majority of people in Fodlan believe in the Saros faith that Rhea preaches. That's why they accept the noble system as if it were the only option, and refuse to associate with those who believe in anything else. That closed-minded philosophy is the reason why Fodlan's throat is locked tight. But if you remove the archbishop who strictly advocates that doctrine, that worldview is no longer an absolute. There's room for free thought. The leadership of the church would undoubtedly fall to you, and you would hold the power to change the shape of the faith, of the world. Then, for the first time, people would truly be free to think for themselves, to decide what's right and what's wrong. Honestly, I believe Edelgard is probably hoping to achieve something very similar. But her methods require too much bloodshed. That's not something the world can get behind. Anyway, the best thing we can do is find Rhea and hear what she has to say. <laughs> Oops, uh, I guess I've been going on for a while now. Sorry about that. You should get some rest. You yeah, have been <sighs> extending it by a whole five minutes. Anyways, next time on Fire Emblem, Free Houses, Verdant Wind. We'll find out if we hear, hear anything from Judith and prepare for our next battle. This is Zenia Nzima signing out.